So, and you guys know that we're trying to TTC, we're trying to conceive again. So I want to make sure I'm doing my best to re remain healthy. So I'm trying to boost my immune system. Welcome back to the Zebra Tribe fam. Welcome back to a cook with me and baby Zoe. And they come and cook with us. Yeah. Yeah, tonight I'm cooking like a chicken stir fry. Sorry, my makeup is half finished. I did not have time to do it, but that's not what this is about. It's a cooking vlog. I am cooking something that I'm known for cooking. If you guys watch my videos quite a... That dog. Uh -uh. If you guys watch our videos often, you'll know what exactly what I'm cooking. And I don't cook it all the time, but I try to cook sweet potato at least once a week. So that is what I'm cooking. I'm using five large sweet potatoes. I've already chopped up one, two, three, four. Okay, and then there's one that's unwashed. I guess I wanted to see first how much is going to fill this, and then we will go from there. I've already gone ahead and cooked my chicken breasts. These were frozen, so what I'm going to end up doing, I'm going to end up taking out those chicken breasts and chopping them up along with my onions. Hey, hey. Are you cooperating? How are you going to cooperate for cooking? Would you like to have your banana? Oh, no. Comb your hair. Comb your hair. Good job, even though that's her cheeks. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so anyways, yeah, back to cooking. So I'm gonna chop that up in a moment. I'm gonna be putting some onions, some peppers. I've got bags of peppers inside the fridge. So, Louie, be quiet. My, oh, sorry. My in-laws dogs are here and the little one, he's not fully trained. so. Because he hasn't gone to the, he hasn't gone outside yet to do you know what, which I'm not going to say in this video. Um, I he's in his crate, so sorry if you guys can hear him whining a little bit, but that's what's up with him. Um, I'm going to be chopping up some peppers. Love peppers, guys. This these are good to have during the winter, especially to get loads of vitamin C. Uh, I know, especially for them, some of you guys who are into the healthy eating. I am in the, the healthy eating because I have to. I'm trying to watch my sodium. I'm also trying to watch my carbs per se, like, you know, diabetic wise. So I am always trying to stick with things that are not going to just like shoot up my insulin. I'm not diabetic, but I've had gestational diabetes every pregnancy. So, and you guys know that we're trying to TTC, we're trying to conceive again. So I want to make sure I'm doing my best to re remain healthy. So I'm trying to boost my immune system while also not shooting up my insulin because these babies are what led to me, led me to being, um, having gestational diabetes the first time having quite a few of these so um these clementines oranges all of those acidic orangey type fruits they are great at giving you okay they're great you threw the you threw it away they're great at giving you um there you go oh oh geez they're great at giving you vitamin c however they come with all the, sh the sugars that you don't need. So you it's definitely good to have alternatives such as bell peppers because they are actually really great at giving you a ton of vitamin C.
cover is almost done guys it is looking great and colorful thank god spring's right around the corner because when spring comes then we can have more access to fresh veggies um this is all fresh veggies i rarely every now and again every now and again i'll buy the packaged veggies from costco but most often i do buy fresh fresh is actually expensive but it is definitely worth it and you know it's good to try to catch it on sale too so guys so the, i'm doing i'm making it into a stir fry it was originally it was originally going to be like a lemon and herb chicken but then i decided to make it into a stir fry and this is the sauce that i'm using the kikoman sauce this one um yeah i've had this one in the fridge for a little bit so i decided to give it a go i put some on here this is about my third um what do you call it serving on here i try to do it a little at a time that way i don't go overboard and it's not too salty I have also gone ahead and separated mine because I have to have low sodium so I can I, I try not to eat a lot of that on my food so yeah that's pretty much it I'm not gonna do a separate veggie because there are so many vegetables in here already we've got um, sweet peppers onions spinach I think we good we're good and then in the oven, we've got the sweet potato and it's about to come out. Add some butter and a little bit of like seasoning. I think I'm just gonna add some butter, butter to that. And that's pretty much it guys. So thank you guys for coming along on a cook with me. It's like I said, sweet potato is a go-to. I have it in the house all the time because I, I am trying to eat well. Uh, I try to have that, it's like a fresh thing. But our, I don't know, we have our main bases we have our main core things that we usually have, such as like the pastas and the rice or even quinoa. I haven't made my quinoa enchilada bake in a while. I've actually made that so much for quite a bit then I stopped. Um, and last night, last night, I wish I could have filmed last night's supper. Last night, we actually had a bean burrito. How was it? It was delicious. It was delicious. So I had black beans. I used two cans of black beans for that one. Um, you know use and then I seasoned it up I added a little bit of spice but I used various spices in there and then we had cheese to go with it we had peppers we had tomatoes and stuff on top of it and then we had ranch dressing with just your standard wrap uh, and it was a really really good substitute for it was a good substitute for like having any kind of you know meat so the good like I think it's like vegan or to be is that a vegan meal I think so and yeah, we just use this tortilla wrap. So that's pretty much it. Like I said, thanks for coming and cooking with me. If you guys enjoy these kind of videos, definitely comment below. My, <laughs> I was trying to end this video and then hubby called and I got cut off. But like I was saying, if you guys enjoy the cook with me, definitely hit that like button and let me know. Because the response on the particular video that I create definitely lets me know that you guys are liking them and you enjoy them. So. I plan on making some more Jamaican style food on this one here. I think I've done jerk chicken a long time ago, but, um, and I may have done curry chicken. It's back. It's been a minute since I've made curry chicken, to be honest, curry chicken and rice. So that's probably what I'm going to make. I have drums in there, um, that I could chop up or perhaps I should just get some thighs, but, um, yeah, I, I plan on making some more Jamaican food on here and then. <laughs> hubby will be making some too oh my gosh i gotta go because this kid is just doing the most but thanks for watching guys and much love bye zoe say bye bye say bye say bye say bye 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 <laughs>
Okay, sit down on your sit down on your bumper. She's like, why'd you guys stop? Well, we were doing this thing in the car, and then Charlotte or someone was like, was uh, Tim, 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 And don't forget to subscribe to join the tribe. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. <laughs>